From your local National Weather Service office in La Crosse, Wisconsin, this is a quick look at the initial spring flood outlook that was released on Thursday, February the 21st, 2019. Well, what we want you to know right up front is that there is an above normal to even well above normal risk for spring flooding this year along much of the main stem Mississippi River and its Wisconsin tributaries. In contrast to that, there is a near to even below normal risk for most of those tributaries that feed the Mississippi located across southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. One quick caveat we have to point out is that this forecast you will see heavily depends on both the rate at which snow melts here over the next four to eight weeks and also the amount of precipitation that we receive throughout the spring, especially during the months of March and April. We should note that a slower melt than what we anticipate, at least climatologically speaking, and or light precipitation amounts through the spring will tend to lower the overall spring flood risk. Graphically speaking, here's a look at what we expect. Notice all those oranges and reds, even a few purples. You can see the uh, legend on the right there. Wherever you see those bright colors, there is a greater than 50% risk for either minor or moderate, and in a few cases, major flooding to develop this spring based on the conditions that we're seeing, which I'll cover here in just a minute. On contrast to that, notice those green areas, mostly across southeast Minnesota into northeast Iowa. Those are areas where we have a less than 50% risk for significant spring flooding this year. Some of the factors we'll be looking at uh, that will raise that flooding risk versus a normal year, if you will. We do have significant ice in the rivers due to very cold temperatures experienced over the last 45 days. We also have very deeply frozen ground in many areas from that cold weather we've seen, which means there is a higher than normal potential for runoff this spring with any heavy rain. We also have a very large and expansive snowpack across much of the region with quite a bit of water within that snow as well. And we've also had, as many of you know, a very wet fall and even a summer before that. And we've had a wet winter, especially again the last 45 days. So our soils are very saturated. And also we also have had uh, higher than normal river flows through much of the winter so far. Again, on the flip side of that coin, the unknowns are the spring of that, uh, excuse me, the speed of that spring melt, as well as the exact precipitation intensity over the next few months. Some of you can stop the video here, but for those of you that are interested in knowing a little more of the background, we'll talk about that now. Uh, as we look through the fall, recent precipitation trends, again, very wet conditions stand out on the map here. Uh, some areas had in excess of 200% of normal precipitation during the fall months. As we've gone into winter, we're looking at somewhere between about 150 to 175% of normal precipitation. That's melted snow and rainfall. Uh, and that has contributed to continued high flows on many of the rivers as we've gone through the winter months. Looking at soil moisture, we're really right at the top of the scale. That's a consequence of that wet fall. Uh, we just can't take a lot of additional water in the soil at this point as soils, even though they're frozen, uh, they are quite saturated as well. Looking at uh, snowfall amounts, uh, many of you no doubt know it's been a very wet uh, stretch in terms of snowfall here over the last 45 days or so with significant snow in many areas. And as of the morning of uh, the 21st here when this was recorded and released, uh, notice those snow depths across much of uh, western Wisconsin into Minnesota, even northeast Iowa, snow depths anywhere from 12 to as much as 25 inches across much of that region. Zooming in a little bit here, you can see a little more fine scale detail, but uh, significant snow depths again reported, which is a little bit atypical for this time of the year. In fact, some locations have received record setting amounts of snow over the last 30 days or so. How much water is locked up in that snow? Well, in general, we have somewhere between about two to as much as five inches in some areas and in many areas, which is a concern as well as we begin to melt off that snow here over the next few weeks. Again, those temperatures, for those of you interested, we had a very warm December. A lot of people were thinking, hey, where's winter? And then winter has certainly showed up uh, as we've gone into January and February with well below normal temperatures spreading into the region. Uh, that has, again, allowed for very deep frost steps, 18 to 36 inches in a few cases, which will, again, be a big factor as we go over the next couple of months. Now, looking over the next 8 to 14 days, those of you that like winter, it's going to hang on. And uh, that is going to keep our snow melt to a minimum, which is good news. Again, we want that slower melt if we don't want to have a significant spring flood season. So well below north temperatures are forecast, as well as precipitation amounts that will range from uh, somewhere around average to even a little bit below average. Again, this will be during that late February and early March time frame. 
pushing ahead through the month of March does show a continued higher than normal chances for below normal temperatures to continue across much of the region. As we get into precipitation, though, that's a bit more tricky with what we call equal chances as there's really no strong signal for any direction for us to take the forecast. So we'll have to watch trends week by week as we start to get later into March into the month of April. But other than that, most of the other factors we mentioned, that deep snowpack, frozen ground, higher than normal water levels, lots of ice on those rivers, and an expansive snowpack in the headwaters of the Mississippi, all leads us to believe that the potential is there for a significant flood season as we go over the next one to two months. Thank you very much for your time today, for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, check our website. We'll have an update to this that will be issued uh, during early March, and we'll go over the latest trends then. Thanks, everyone.